Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to assist you to design this Independence Day flyer in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we would have to create our working background, right? So as usual, go to File and then select New. Right? So for this project, I'll name it Independence Day a flyer right and i'll use the 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels and then a resolution of 300 so go ahead and click on create to create your working background okay all right so move the mouse pointer to the guides over here or the rulers over here right click on it and drag it down to about 73 3 percent all right this is okay 73.3 percent it's okay in case your guides are not set to percentage right click on it this way and then you click on percent all right okay all right so next i'll draw a rectangle on top here um uh, using this color this yellowish color uh, so to get this same color type this color code that is c e a e2c right type the same color code here and you get the exact color that i'm using over here right. so draw a rectangle up to this point yep. select the move to and press ctrl plus t to transform the rectangle right so press and hold the shift key and click and then drag from the top to the side Click and then drag it to this side as well. Click and drag to this side. All right, then you can now check it. All right. So um the next thing we'll do is to bring in an image which I downloaded from the internet. Okay. Um I'll leave a link in the description area where you can download all the resources, all the, all the resource files I used for this project. All right. So I'll bring in this image over here. And then i'll hold the shift key and then click and then drag it up to this point to be in line with the shape you drew right and um lower the opacity to about 80 percent right and clip max this image onto the rectangle so to do that you can either hold the alt key right and bring your mouse pointer in between the rectangle layer and then the image you brought in the layers you realize that the mouse pointer changes its color right then you click on it once so now it has been clip maxed into this rectangle so it means whatever will be done on the image would, would affect only the image within the rectangle and not beyond the rectangle all right another way of clipping masking um this or another way of doing this clip mask right is by right clicking on the image layer and then you select create clipping mask okay and then change the mode to luminosity over here All right so next thing i'll bring in some of the independence images um, i've already cut out from the main background so they are pbs psd files so i'll drag them here all right then i'll bring in this freedom and justice image over here right. okay. up to this point it's okay so i want to make sure this image is in the middle or in the center of the entire background so press ctrl plus a to select the entire canvas right and click on this align horizontal centers you realize it's moved into the middle afterwards you press ctrl plus d to deselect it and now i can bring in the ghana flag as well so click and then drag this over here and place it over here right um, somewhere something like this okay so same thing i want to make sure this ghana flag is in the middle so press ctrl plus a and click on this to align the horizontal centers afterwards you press ctrl plus d to deselect it and now i can move this a little beneath down there right 
so finally we can take off this guides because we don't need it anymore okay so i want to um give this image some sort of a vintage look right to make it look very good okay so move to the adjustment layer click on the adjustment layer and select the first thing i'll do is to select the hue and saturation right and reduce the saturation to about negative 10 percent uh, okay negative 10 percent is okay right and then you clip mask this onto the image so same like i said earlier you press the alt key and then you click here to ensure that it is clipped into it so the hue and saturation will only affect the image there and not the entire work right so the next thing is to add some sort of um, exposure so same uh, same place go to the adjustment layer and click on exposure right and for the exposure increase the side of the exposure to about uh, let's see 1.83 realize because i've not clip masked um the exposure onto the image it is affecting the entire work all right so let me clip mask it immediately you realize now it is affecting only the image good and then for the offset i'll set it to about um, negative zero point um one two zero eight all right I've already tried this out that is why i'm giving this um, exact figures okay and then reduce the opacity to about um, let's say 61 percent is okay good all right so the next thing i'll bring in once again is uh vibrance vibrance over here and with the vibrance increase this vibrance to about um, 73 percent so I'll do like this 73 and then increase the saturation to just about 11 percent good after doing that click on the mode here right this normal click on this normal and then select color band okay so color band and because we've not clip marked it it is affecting the entire um, work so clip max this quickly good and then um, reduce the opacity to about 50 uh, 51 51 it's okay uh, 43 is also good okay and select the eraser to um what is it what is it? the eraser to okay and then clean these parts to make it a little bit visible clean these parts of the image okay good all right so the next thing would type happy independence day at the top side so um i'll make the color black so select the type two over here and then for this text i'll use a font called kanji kanji regular kanji regular then i'll type happy independence day okay uh and then i'll increase the size a little so press ctrl plus t to select it and then increase the size this way a little further all right so i want to make sure it is in the middle of the work so press ctrl plus a to select it once again and then you align the horizontal sentence and then you deselect it by pressing ctrl plus d And let me make it a little bit bold so select or click on four bold or full bold okay or does it look better without it uh, okay maybe this is better and then reduce the uh how do we call it 
this thing over here the leading and, uh, let's see 12 percent is okay 12 percent is okay all right um, let me make the vibrant oops sorry uh, the opacity about 52 percent that's good all right so um next thing i'll just type my social media uh, social media details beneath this side all right so the font i'll use here is social media social media 10 uh, it's here already um set the moving to zero or auto so i'll type tfc that is twitter facebook and instagram and then i would select another font while still on the same text select another font um, that is poppins poppins um poppins bold right and then i'll type my social media handle that is at oj underscore graphics then press enter i think it is too bold so let me make it um regular that's great now i can align this in the center of the work so press ctrl plus a and then align the horizontal sentence and then it is selected by pressing ctrl plus d okay so the last thing i will do is to draw some few lines over here with the ghana colors okay so select the rectangle tool once again and um, pick this color um, i'll choose a green first okay and then draw a horizontal line from here up to this end okay and come here and make sure the width is 1080 pixels and then the height should be 10 pixels at least okay so let me center this rectangle so Control plus A, and then you click here to send it, and then you deselect it. All right. So next, I will make two duplicates of this rectangle and change their color. So Control plus J twice to make duplicates of it. The first one on top here, that is this layer, will be the red color. Okay. So let me change the name to red then all right so double click on this and select this red color okay and this would be our yellow so yellow double click here and then pick your yellow color as well okay we already have our green color here so I wouldn't have to pick the color once again. Now I would then bring in some guides. So new guide layout. Okay. And I wouldn't use margins. So we are using three columns for this. Okay. Right, so click here. And now select the first color that is the red. And Press Ctrl plus T, hold the Shift key, and then drag it to this side. Make sure it touches this main um, guide over here. Okay, and then you check it. Then you select the yellow layer, and then you press Ctrl plus T once again, and you drag it to the side let me check it once again 
so afterwards you press um control plus the column to take off the guides so basically this is our final work um i hope this video was helpful if it was please hit the like button and drop a comment in the comment section as well and do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so please it is very important okay so all right see you in my next tutorial